Good evening and welcome to NAZ Today. I'm Xavier Rangel. Thanks for joining us. Tonight, thousands of fish were found dead in a reservoir which supplies drinking water to the community. It's a scary sight to see and exactly what many saw at Lake Mary recently. The lake is the largest reservoir in the Flagstaff area whose water finds itself coming out of our taps and into our drinking glasses. And as, as many as 2,000 dead fish were found on its shores last week. As Taylor Trujillo reports, the source of the problem has everything to do with the O in H2O. Hi, Taylor Trujillo for NAZ Today. I'm here standing at the edge of local Lake Mary where 1,500 to 2,000 trout were found dead on Thursday due to low oxygen levels. You want a healthy aquatic ecosystem to be able to put fish in the water. That's when we look at pH, we look at temperature, and we look at the oxygen levels. Of course, if any of those factors are a little out of whack, we won't be able to put fish in. We do sometimes see uh, summer fish kills, and that's when lake levels are going down, temperature potentially is going up. What is that doing to the oxygen levels and what is that doing to the pH levels? A winter die off is a little unusual and um, it is something that caught us by surprise because we had normal numbers going into that stocking. What we'll do is we'll continue to monitor the lake, make sure those oxygen levels are better and make sure that it is ready for stocking the next time. So if you're an angler in the area, we apologize for any inconvenience. However, while we are waiting for dissolved oxygen levels to improve, you can head to Dogtown Lake, just south of Williams, or Short Pond in Flagstaff. NAZ Today, Taylor Trujillo.